Hey loves, welcome back again to another CapCut tutorial. If this is your first time seeing me, my name is Cynthia Patrick. Today, we are going to be learning how to blur the video of your background and give you that cinematic feel using just the CapCut app. Can I show my love? Alright, so it doesn't matter the kind or type of video you want to work with. It could be a video of yourself or a product video or any kind of video. This blur effect is definitely going to work for it. So just make sure to follow through every step-by-step -step tutorial. So that way you don't miss anything, okay? With this blur effect, you can easily blur out the background of your video just like you're seeing right now. It is the same effect that I applied to this video that you're currently watching. So this is what this video looks like without the blur effect. And this is what it looks like when I apply the cinematic blur effect. You can apply this not just on a sitting down talking head video like this but also on a moving object just as you can see right here so what am i trying to say regardless of the video type it's all the same process it doesn't matter whether you're working with your pc your laptop your phone or any kind of phone okay so without further ado let's jump into the CapCut app meanwhile if you don't have the CapCut app on your phone quickly head over to play store or app store to download it before you continue watching this video but if you have it let's move on so are you ready now let's jump into the app so right here when you click on the CapCut app you're going to see new projects right here on the main screen. Click on it to import new video, the video you want to work with. So I'm going to select this clip and import it into the app. Now the video is already in my timeline. The first thing you're going to do is to tap on the video and you're going to see some options down below here. So you want to scroll all the way to your right until you see the duplicate option or copy. So I'm going to click on it and here we go. What this does is that it duplicates your video. So after duplicating or copying, just go back a little and you're going to see the overlay option tap on it and voila you see what that does so it brings down the video that way you can move it around anyhow you want but for now we're gonna leave it there okay now let's go back to the beginning of our first footage and now we're gonna click back to the main menu then scroll over to the effect option once that option is open click on video effect allow it to load up and as you can see we have a whole lot of effect right here but the effect we're going to be working with is called the blow effect yes so up here in the tabs you have to scroll over to the lens the lens option and then you click on the blow effect now you see what that does to your video you can as well choose to click on adjust to adjust the level of your blow effect as for me i don't like to be i don't like it to be too blurred so i tend to always reduce it so let's say 25 so it all depends on you and how blurred you want it to be once we're done with that you want to click on the check mark here to import it in and then what you want to do next is extend the blur effect all the way down on your main clip and this will serve as your blur background so after doing that click back here and go back to the main menu then click on the overlay option here and that will review the extra layer that we already created now what you want to do next is drag this clip all the way back to the main footage so it can sync up with the original perfectly now after that click on this video clip you just dragged you will see a lot of options down here so go ahead and scroll down till you find the option remove background click on it click on auto remove background and allow it to do its magic and as you can see now we're on a blurred background so this is all you have to do to achieve a blurry background easy peasy right once again this method can be applied to any kind of video or image you want to work with so make sure to jump on it if you want that cinematic feel for your videos now let me know in the comment section if this was helpful if you enjoyed this tutorial and it was helpful and please do not forget to give it a massive 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 thumbs up okay and subscribe if you haven't for more tutorials and cap cuts make sure to check out my playlist over here i'm gonna be leaving the link here or here so make sure to check it out okay i'm sure there's a lot of amazing things you would love to learn over there if you also need a one-on-one -on -one tutorial where we get to chat i get to like teach you personally or you want to buy my course please make sure to send me a dm okay and we're gonna walk through it together until next time bye for now mm -hmm.